not welcome. Meg seething as Harry and kids flying to UK to join Camilla's 76th birthday party while she's banned. It seems that to celebrate her 76th birthday party, Cam will be hosting a royal birthday party, speaking for her to remove Meghan from the list only agreeing to Harry and the children of the Sussexes. It's officially confirmed that Meghan is no longer in the royal family. Queen Camilla celebrated her 76th birthday on Monday in spectacular fashion with a gun salute and happy birthday being sung by the bands of the Irish Cards in London. She also received birthday wishes from the public on social media, as well as from the royal family's main accounts on Instagram and Twitter. The royal family's official Instagram shared three pictures of the new Queen Contour with the caption, wishing Her Majesty the Queen a very happy birthday today. Camilla's stepson, Prince William, and the Princess of Wales took to social media to wish a very happy birthday to the Queen. However, it seems that Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex have refrained from publicly sending her birthday wishes. The Sussexes made no mention of Camilla's birthday, her first since becoming Queen Consort in September 2022. Although the couple no longer maintain an official social media account, the couple do occasionally make public statements through an official representative. Meghan and Harry's snub comes about a month after the royal family declined to wish Princess Lilibet a happy birthday in June. According to royal commentator Camilla Tamini, Queen Camilla isn't the type to bear grudges. Her philosophy is always, don't make a thing of it, and they'll settle down, Lee said, soon as mended. Nevertheless, in April, the Queen's companion, the Marchioness of Launceston, admitted the feud with Meghan and Harry bothers Camilla. Quote, of course it bothers her, of course it hurts, but she doesn't let it get to her. Although Camilla missed out on birthday wishes from stepson and daughter-in-law, the Queen did receive an extra special birthday nod from Westminster Abbey. The historic church celebrated and congratulated the Queen's special day, wishing Her Majesty the Queen a very happy birthday today, read the Post, accompanied by a photo of Camilla being crowned on Coronation Day at the Anglican Church. In honor of the Queen's birthday, the Abbey also rang its bells for the first time since 2019 after being paused due to financial issues related to the COVID pandemic. Following Camilla's birthday, the bells are set to chime on several other royal birthdays, as well as on the first anniversary of the Queen's death. Prince Harry and King Charles haven't been on the best terms for some time now, ever since he decided to leave the royal family and live in California with his wife, even though the prince did attend his father's coronation, no reports of a meeting between them ever occurred. That's because the Duke of Sussex immediately returned to America to be with his son, Archie, on his birthday, but this separation between father and son began years ago, and according to royal expert Christopher Anderson, Camilla is to blame for it. Speaking on Fox News recently, Anderson floats the idea that Queen Camilla was always in the way of Prince Harry and King Charles' relationship. The main reason Anderson believes Camilla is to blame for this is due to how Prince Harry painted her as the villain in Spare. In the book and in further interviews, Harry talks about the arrangement Camilla had with British tabloids in order to exchange information. This resulted in the king always picking Camilla's side when he makes an attempt to make peace with Prince Harry. This means that the queen has made the king choose sides because she felt attacked by the prince. The story thickens with what Anderson said on Fox News.